like to be alone in this place. Like... disposition, you're going to need it tomorrow morning. Thank you. When the power comes back on, I'll have my hair dryer blow it dry so I can read it. Thank you. But what about me? I'm more important than a deposition. Just as wet. My teeth are chattering. More than it can say. I'm sorry. Here, take your car. Come over by the fireplace. It's kind of you to be so forgiving after what I said to you this afternoon. Well, nobody said that I was being forgiving. I just don't like you looking like a wet cat. I would have preferred wet lion. I know you would prefer that. But you look like a wet cat. Take your coat off. It'll warm you up and you can see what an expert fire builder I really am. All right, I guess it's safe. I'm too wet to make decent kindling. Any, uh, did you get a hold of Victoria? No, the phone lines are still down. I don't know if she's all right or not. I couldn't reach her at Johnny. I'm sure she'd find me. I mean, I, Rick probably drove her home. I couldn't reach Johnny's either. There's no phones, no power, nothing. Well, but she's probably as worried about you right now as you are about her. I mean, you're safe. There's no reason why she shouldn't be. Well, what have we here? Oh, not much. Just some mineral water, tuna fish, peanut butter, crackers. That's an eclectic assortment. Yeah, well, I wasn't expecting company, so uh, it's the best that I could come up with on short notice. Unless you'd like to have the frozen leg of lamb that's in my freezer right now. No, I'll leave that to any frozen wolves that come to your door. Well? I was wet, not frozen. Help yourself. Thank you. Shall I prepare one for you? That would be nice, thank you. Wind chimes really come into their own on a night like this. Glad you're finally getting some use out of them. Thank you. Yeah, well, they'll uh, probably keep me up all night. Well, if you're having trouble sleeping, just read that deposition I brought you. I think Rita went to sleep just typing. Yeah, well, I'm going to have to read it. Uh, would you like some mineral water? No, I, I'll, I'll do the honors. It never rains, but I pour. Mm. I was starving. This is excellent tuna salad, by the way. Thank you very much. I catch them myself. Well, I, actually, I don't catch them. They swim up to my door, and I open up the door and let them in, and after that, it's free. That's barbaric of you. <laughs> I could never kill a tuna that swam all the way up to my door. That's because you're a better man than I am. <laughs> Must be fun. Living by the ocean. I, I always wanted a house on the water. Yeah, well, this uh, seems like it's going to turn into a houseboat. I think this is a first for us, you know. What do you mean? We've been through a lot of storms together. Never one caused by the weather. Can you handle that? Victoria got back safely. I'm sure she's safe in the apartment. Assuming she got back there, which we're not sure of. No, 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 Mason. She seems like a woman to me who knows how to come in out of the rain. I'm still worried. My responsibility now, you know. Hmm. It's kind of interesting seeing you. Husband. Nice. A little out of character. Well, give me. 10 or 20 years, you'll get used to it. Seems like you're happy. I am. 
I'm glad. It's uh, been a little rough on Victoria, however. The family hasn't exactly gone out of their way to make her feel like one of them. Which had better start changing in short order. Well, that's enough about me and mine. What about you and yours? How does it feel living next to the great Cruz Castillo? It's fine. I think it was a smart move. I hope you're happy with the job, too. Yeah, I'm a real adult now. I have a new job, a new house, and uh, credit cards. Do you ever still think of having a child? Uh, sometimes. Now and then, off and on. On and on. How about you? Sometimes. Especially now that I'm married. Well, I, I, I think it would be a shame if you didn't... Because I think you're, you're good father material, Nathan. I really do. Take the phone. Yeah. Damn. Is the line still dead? Yeah. I just wish I knew for sure that Victoria was safe. Unless it's amphibious. Nathan, here, give me your coat. It can't stay like this forever. She might as well just stay here a little longer. Huh. Yeah. Here. Here. I got it. Don't worry about Victoria. I, I'm sure Brick either gave her a ride home or made her stay put at Johnny's. No, she said she was going to drive herself home. All I said was be careful. If I'd known it was going to be like this, I would have forbidden her to take the car. Husbands still forbid their wives to do of you. It's not that she's not capable, Julia. I'm just a little worried, that's all. I understand. And I'm sure she's safe in your apartment right now, warm, safe, and dry. Mason? Mason, is that you? Yeah, Julia. Yeah, I'm not some hardcore junkie. I'm so tired. My husband is going to be back here any minute. He just went out to the store. I don't think he'd like to find you here when you get back. Would you like a drink? Oh, that would be wonderful. I'm uh, kind of putting you into a lot of trouble, aren't I? A couple of towels and a glass of brandy, if nothing compared to the trouble you can really be. Thanks. This will help. I'm beginning to feel a thaw already. Could have fooled me. Hmm? Nothing. Now, what did you mean by that? Look, th this has to stop. You know, you're treating me like I I'm your school nurse or something, like we don't even know each other. I'm sorry. I guess it just feels a little odd to, uh, be standing here in your living room. 